In our never-ending quest to find websites that'll help you in your everyday life, we've got 10 useful websites to show you in a variety of categories you'll wish you knew about earlier, none of which have ever been featured in this series. Let's get started. First up is Real Good. If you subscribe to multiple streaming services, this one is very useful. It takes the various services you use and combines them into a single user interface to browse, search, and track TV shows and movies you have access to. There are now more than 300 content providers to choose from, including free services like Crackle and paid services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, along with TV Everywhere channels that are linked to your cable or satellite account. Here's how it works when you first get started. Click on Add Your Services. Select the plus if you want that content from free services like Crackle appearing on your homepage. I don't, so I'll just uncheck it. I just want to see the content we're subscribed to, so I'll select Netflix, Disney Plus, YouTube Premium, Hulu, and Prime Video. In the next category listed below, select the TV Everywhere services that you use. I won't select any of these. When you're done, click on Next. To save your changes, you'll need to sign up for a free account. In this example, we'll skip this step. Now when you browse the Real Good homepage, you'll only see content from the services you have access to. When you select any program, it will give you additional information including the IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes rating. When you click on Track It, it will notify you of new episodes you haven't seen. It will also show you where you can watch that TV show or movie. At this time, Real Good only supports streaming services in the United States, with additional regions coming soon. With the hundreds of online data breaches occurring each year, it's difficult to keep track of them all. The free service Firefox Monitor will help you to find out if your accounts have been compromised. It's quick and easy to use. In the search box, just enter your email address. After you've done that, click on Check for Breaches. According to this, the email I entered has appeared in 31 known data breaches. To get additional information, select more about this breach from one of the companies listed. For this one, let's go with Zynga. The information here is provided by one of our favorite sites, Have I Been Pwned? This page will show you the actual date of the breach and the data that was compromised. If you scroll down, you'll get additional information, including the recommended steps to protect your data. In this example, changing your password immediately would be a good first step. It would also be a good idea to sign up for free alerts so you get notified of any new breaches when they're reported. Adobe Color is a free color palette generator for those of you interested in graphic design. There are two ways you can use this to create a color theme. If you select the color wheel in the upper left, you have various color schemes to choose from. Then just left click and drag the circles to the desired colors. The other way to create a color theme is to extract from an image. You could select a file from your computer or drag and drop your image into this window. You'll find the color moods along the left. For this one, I'll go with bright. You can still move the circles around to find the desired colors. To save a theme, in the upper right, give it a name. I'll just leave it as it is. You can also give it tags and publish to the community. I'll turn this one off. When you're done, click on Save. You will need a Creative Cloud account to save your theme, which is free. Here at the top to the right of Create, if you select Explore or Trends, it's a great way to discover themes created from the various Adobe communities. And finally, My Themes will show you the color themes you've saved to your library. Next up is Get Human. The site will help you navigate the near endless maze of menu options when calling customer service so you can speak to an actual person. The site has improved quite a bit over the years and has saved me a boatload of time. Here's a quick example. Start typing the name of the company. I'll go with one of my least favorites, AT&T Uverse. You'll find the customer service number here at the top. Below that is a free service where the Get Human phone will wait on hold for you and call you when a customer service rep can talk. I've never used this, so I can't tell you how well it works. I usually skip down to the section, get to a live person fastest then just follow the instructions. Most recently, I used the steps on this website to cancel Uverse after dealing with months of reliability issues. Further down that same page, you can get additional tips and advice when calling customer service for that company. This will be a quick one. 
Pexels' website I recommended in a previous video discussing the best free stock photo websites. But if you're looking for free stock videos for your next project, check out their dedicated videos page full of high quality videos. Just like their photos, all videos uploaded to Pexels are free to use for personal or commercial projects. Urban Dictionary is a crowdsourced online dictionary that will help you to find the definitions of slang words and phrases. If you're a parent or grandparent, this website might be useful for you to understand what your kids are saying. To find the meaning of a word or phrase, type it in the search box. A popular one you'll see in the comments section on many social sites is OK Boomer. The top voted definition will be listed at the top, followed by others submitted by users. Another phrase you may have seen is, oh yeah yeah. This one is also kind of stupid. Thankfully, it's been losing popularity. The top definition is actually very clever. Corruptophile for some of you just might be the most useful website mentioned so far. If you have a report at your work that is due or assignment at school that's not finished, the site may give you more time to complete your project. It's simple to use. Select a file from your computer, Dropbox, or Google Drive. I'll select a test file from my computer. Then click on Corrupt File. When it's done, you have a few choices for saving. I'll just download it to my computer. Now when they go to open your corrupted file, they will think it's some kind of glitch, which will hopefully give you the time you need to finish your work. Kialo describes themselves as a platform for rational debates, empowering reason through friendly and open discussion. If you're looking for a specific topic, you could do a search here at the top or select one of the debates listed here on their homepage. You'll now see a list of arguments on both sides, making it easier to weigh the pros and cons. If you want to dive deeper into an argument, click on it. To add your own argument to the debate, click on the plus on the appropriate side. Gas Buddy is a website most of you should be familiar with. It helps you to find the lowest gas prices in your city, state, or zip code. For this one, I'll enter a zip code. Choose the type of gas. I'll leave it on regular. Then click on Find Gas. It will now show you a list of gas stations, their addresses, and the corresponding price per gallon. If you're on the road away from home, it's more convenient to use their mobile app, which is available for iOS and Android. Gas Buddy is available for use in both the United States and Canada. Simple English Wikipedia is for anyone learning English or people with learning disabilities that find it difficult to learn or read. All entries on this website are written at a basic level of English. Here's an article from the standard Wikipedia. As you can see, this article uses words and grammar that a novice might have a hard time understanding. On the simple English Wikipedia, the articles use basic words and grammar with shorter sentences that could make it easier for some people to better comprehend subjects they don't know anything about. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. Do you have a favorite website you'd like for us to feature in this series? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with the coolest websites and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.